All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today uh, I've ordered a couple of straps from Uncle Straps, as you guys can see, um, for the SPB151, also known as the Seiko Willard. So um, I've been wearing this watch actually mostly on, uh, or pretty much all the time, on this bracelet, which I also got from Uncle Straps. Um, I think this is kind of what they're calling like their presidential bracelet or something, and it's super, super comfortable. I really love the watch on this bracelet. I think it looks great. A little bit of a color difference difference because of the dia shield they use on the watch, but other than that, it looks spectacular on the watch. But it's summertime, and I'm going to be traveling here again on vacation fairly soon, and so I wanted to get a couple extra straps um, for this watch. And being that the, if you're not familiar, this watch has... Uh, pierced lugs or drilled lugs, whatever you want to call those. And so that makes strap changes extremely, extremely easy. So I picked these up. Now I am in California, which uh, they are in California also. And let's see what else I have in here. It looks like maybe there's some, some goodies in here. So we've got a little card there for a code. Sorry, that's my Firewatch app going off in the background here in California. We're burning like crazy. So and a couple stickers. That's cool. If you're not familiar, if you've never bought anything, this one actually glows. It's got loom on it. So that's super, super cool. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to save this one and put it in my travel trailer in my camper so I can uh, light it up at night. So that's pretty cool. Love that extra stuff. So I did get two straps for it. One you're going to recognize right off is kind of like your traditional um, Seiko strap. It looks like their standard models, you know, that they make they put on all of their dive watches or most of their dive watches. So simple, clean, it's got the ribs here on it. I think one of the pins just fell out of the bag there. Yep, it did. And there's the other pin there. You get fat uh, Seiko spring bars from them also, as you guys can see. But the nice thing is they do have the collar on there, so it makes changing those a lot, a lot easier. So those we need to press into there and get those in. But this is, you know, very standard looking Seiko strap. You've got the Uncle Seiko logo there on the bottom, which is a little bit different, but good looking strap overall. Even has that kind of knurling or rib, uh, I don't know, texturing on the inside like a Seiko strap does. So that's the first one. And I'll, I'll go ahead and pause the camera, put each of these straps uh, on the watch so that we can check it out in person. Now, if you guys know me, you know I'm a Dodgers fan, and so I can't order a orange strap for a watch without ordering a blue strap to go along with it. And this is in their new, um, I think they're calling like these the Tattoo Series. So I know it's going to be different having a blue strap and an orange strap, but I don't know, I thought it'd be kind of fun. We've got all our spring bars sitting here, but let's go ahead and throw the orange one on first and see what that looks like. All right, guys, so here we go with the orange one on here. I really didn't have any doubt um, as to how I would like this. I think it looks really good. Um, the strap is nice, um, definitely high quality. I, I'm not sure what kind of rubber they're made out of compared to a Seiko strap, but they do feel a little bit different. Um, I do have from Uncle Straps, I also have their chocolate bar strap for this watch as well as their waffle strap for this watch, both of which harken back to the, uh, the movie Apocalypse Now. So... Um, they look really good on here, but this this orange strap, it's probably going to live on this one for quite a bit, but let's go ahead and try it out on the um, the blue tattoo strap from Uncle. I like the way this one looks. Well, my wife always tells me that black and navy blue don't go together, and I tend to ignore that all the time, and so I, try, I dress inappropriately, but I think this one looks good. I think... I think the tattoo strap definitely has a, a unique look to it. I could walk into Dodger Stadium with this watch on my wrist and with the blue strap on and be like, we bad. I know it. So, but yeah, um, definitely looks cool. Um, these straps are not inexpensive. Uh, this, these two straps right here uh, with the pins and everything set me back $65. And that was because I bought two of them. Um, so you make that decision as far as the pricing goes for you. If you buy two of them, um, you'll get them instead of $39.99 a piece. I think they come down to like... Uh, two for sixty-five dollars or something like that. So it is definitely a deal getting them, um, buying them as a pair like that. So, but I think this looks really good on the watch. Let me know down below in the uh, video description or in the comments which one you like the best on the watch. I think the orange looks good. I didn't expect to like the blue all that much, but I really actually love the way this one looks on here. Um, looks really, really good. So on my wrist today, I meant to tell you guys I'm wearing the Casio. Um, this is the multi-band WV200, so this has the radio connection and everything like that. Uh, really awesome watch, uh, 200 meters water resistance for just under $40 on Amazon, so I'll leave links to this uh, down below in the description also. But cool, I just want to show you guys some new straps from Uncle Straps. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do, please do. Thanks, guys.